right, all right, all right, Sagittarius. Why are you so mysterious, baby? It is Mira. It is Shebra. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Tarot, and I am back at it again, my dear. One time for the one time to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of December 2020. Show me the monthly energy. Yes, indeed. I am here. I am here with no fear. Baby, we are ready. We are reset. We are reloaded. I want to say shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to all my babies who have liked, shared, and subscribed and clicked this video. I want to give a big thanks to everyone who has been booking personal and private readings and sending in love donations through the Cash App and PayPal. We have, um, I believe four new decks that are coming in that I see that people have donated through the Amazon wish list. So again, thank you again. I cannot wait for, um, I believe it's the Edgar Allan Poe. It's like a mystery deck. It's about like mysteries and stuff. So I cannot wait for that deck to get here. We just got the um, La Divination Vintage Keys. That's, isn't this so beautiful, the packaging, you guys? And it smells like heaven. Like as soon as you open up that package, it smells like freaking potpourri laced with heaven's blessings or something. I don't know. Shout out to La Divination. And again, she is a YouTuber on here. So if you have not, check out her channel. Tyler Scorpion Red sent you. Okay? So if there's anyone that would like to book a personal private reading, if these videos give you um, guidance that you need it, um, and you would like to, you know, return a favor, return some love, or just send some support to the page, check out the description box in this video. And also, you can go and check out the About tab on my YouTube page. It gives Gives you the um, contact information to connect with me on Instagram. I only do video readings, okay? So I do video readings on Instagram or on Google Hangouts, okay? If you do not have Instagram where you can send me a message to schedule booking, then email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. I'll help get you all set up with Google Hangouts. Google Hangouts is a free, easy app to download. The only thing we need to do is just change our email. And again, my email is scorpionreds at gmail.com, all right? So um, again, Thank you guys for all the love and support. And if these videos resonate and you want to send some love back to the page and support the page in any type of form or fashion, check out the Amazon wish list. Check out the PayPal and Cash App link, okay? So, Sagittarius, let's get into the prayer before we step into the reading. So, Father God, I thank you so much for the blessing of fresh air daily bread and nourishment i thank you so much for the momentum how things are moving forward in our life father god we thank you so much for the clarity and the vision for us knowing where we are currently in our life so that we can figure out and plan where we're going we're just trying to like again stay vigilant and stay open to all blessings and all doors that um are uh open to us we're ready to receive and believe father god so um please give us guidance for the sign of sagittarius again for december 2020 show me the money energy um again thank you for all of the blessings ahead on our footsteps in jesus name amen yes sir so, <clears throat> let's get into this energy, you guys. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, I did try to record this video. I just scrapped it because it was too many um, distractions and interruptions. I got a phone call, and then my kids were just, like, having it up. Their cousins are here, so they were just, like, running off the house. And it was too loud. So, in the other video, um, it was the Queen of Wands. She came out in a reverse. And it was like the seven of swords in the reverse. It was like you trying to get away from some type of deceitful energy. Haven't I did get a deep feeling like it's like haven't you guys felt bad for something that you did a long time ago? And it was like adjacent doors of blessings being open to you and you wasn't sure if you should walk through them. Also, it was the goddess of um it was like the goddess of intuition. Like she was in the reverse too. You got the walking away. And then the fifth chakra. Um, Archangel Gabriel. In the reverse. So hold on. Let me finish telling y'all what I was what, what's going on in the other reading. So it was like. You guys felt unsure. If these opportunities were destined for you. If, and they were. But it's like you weren't trusting your intuition. It was. 
It's like God's trying to tell you, Sagittarius, this, this is for you. This is your opportunity open through that door. But it's like you just standing there looking at it, not sure, looking around to see if there's any other possible Sagittariuses that this door could be for. Because it was, it's, it was ever something that you guys felt guilty about from the past where um, it's ever you haven't decided if you even want it anymore or if you deserve whatever this thing is that's on the other side of the door because of something that you did a long time ago. Um, I definitely feel like you guys are coming out of, I, like you guys are forgiving yourself for something. I don't know if this was you or if this was someone else around you, but it's like overcoming deceit. It's after someone did this to you or you did this to somebody and it doesn't necessarily have to do with a love situation because I did not feel love in that situation at all. I felt like family, friendship, um, like faculty members or something like that um it has something to do with something like that but it's like regain your confidence um be sure of yourself because the queen of wands was in the verse so it was like you're not active anymore you're not doing the things that you used to do you're not uh you know even like the steady grooming routine that you used to do like you might have fallen off from that even though i do feel like you're picking that back up like i do feel like y'all are focusing on your beauty like that's one thing that y'all have been focusing on but there's something that you guys are not active on a situation that's right there for you but you're not trusting your intuition because of something that ever happened to you or something that was done that had to do with some type of deceit for energy in the past or jealousy and deceit basically so um again this is the walking away card and this is the fifth chakra right here so that is the throat chakra so you guys are walking away but i feel like you do not have the ability to speak on why you've made that decision at this time I feel like once you get a little further away, you may be able to express yourself. But right now, it's too close for you to... I need to get myself at a safe distance and then we can talk about it. I don't want to talk about it first and then leave because you'll try to talk me out of it. Like, I just want to be at a safe distance and, you know, walk away. Because I really don't have any intentions to look back for real, for real. So it's like you may not want to express or communicate why you walked away. Or someone could have walked away from you and uh, you don't know why. Because they're not talking to you or they're not explaining things to you. you. I see the temple path and then you got the victory in the reverse. So um, again, it's like someone's walking away without expressing themselves, without telling someone why. Um... It looks like they're following, they're following their, their intuition or um, the temple path. It's like, I want to say like being to their self because like the temple, I'm thinking of like a, some, like a monk temple or the Buddhist temple or some temple. I don't know what the heck I'm thinking about. I just, I'm just seeing like people being in there and like a very tranquil state of meditation um everyone is like in their own mind like focus on their own mind and their uh state of self-consciousness or something like that like doing a lot of inner work trying to figure out a lot of inner peace like going within to understand the signs and rebalance their frequency or something like that. So uh, it may be like some type of temple or some type of practice or some type of, uh, I want to say like a group teaching where people are learning like how to say less and to speak less and, and show more of actions or something like that. Um, because it's, I, I want to say people talk too fucking much sometimes. <laughs> like people, they talk too much. They tell people where they're going. They tell people why they're going. And they give people too much information. I feel like someone left without giving adequate information. It's because people talk too much. You don't. Like, I need to keep to myself. I want to. 
Now, I, I just, I feel like people talk too much. And whoever this is decided not to talk too much, I want to go and just focus on my inner peace and just get some inner guidance. Like, it may be like spirit might have told them to walk away. Like, they may have been seeing signs or something like that. Like, walk away and don't tell anyone where you're going. You know what I'm saying? Because they're going to distract you. They're going to get in the way of your victory. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, I feel like there's someone that had to do something for themselves, had to go and check and, 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 and restructure by themselves. Because for some reason, it wasn't like they didn't feel victorious. They felt let down. They felt like things went astray in their life. And so this temple path, I feel like they are... Like, regaining their spirituality, tapping into their gifts and their focus with God. It's like maybe they weren't, their focus wasn't on their spirituality and their faith or something. So, and that's probably why victory, I say something led them astray. It's like something led them astray. And they weren't able to receive the victory. And it's like they are able to receive balance here. And, um, yeah. I want to see what's going on with this victory in the reverse and what just made them walk away and just not tell someone why. You know, it's like they didn't see victory here. I need to be at peace with myself. By myself, I need to find out where I'm going. I, I, I just don't want to talk to anyone right now. Um, hmm. Whoever this is, is not talking to somebody for a reason. Not a season, but for a damn reason. Okay, so you got the star. So again, like I'm trying to tell you, this person is covered in faith. This person, again, they, they know that... Whatever this situation for, and this is the seven of wands in the reverse. So it's like they avoiding conflict with people. You know what I'm saying? Like it could have been someone talk. It's like an enemy in the disguise. Like, do you see? Do you see? This is like being caught off guard by someone. Like an enemy in disguise treacherous treason remember I was, I'm trying to tell you I was getting that in the first reading I was getting that in the first reading so someone just walked away and is not talking to anyone it's not talking to anyone they're going the temple path they with the temperance you know what I'm saying they're getting their self restructured rebalanced you know they're hope they're focusing on their hopes their future their faith and all of that stuff like that there's not going to be victory here I got to do this on my own. It's like, I mean, these are not my friends. These are not good people. I'm being advised not to talk to these people. Just to move away from these people. I, I feel like it's like bad luck. Or it's going to get in the way of your future. Because you're a star. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, these people don't really mean you any well. Like, it's going to catch you off guard. Because I'm trying to tell, I wish I wouldn't have scrapped a fucking video now, young. I should have just left it. At least the part of it that I did record. See, I can understand what I'm saying. But, again, it's like, someone being disguised as a friend. Someone being disguised as a homie. Someone being disguised as a family member. But was like hating on the star. Like, for real, for real. Like, you... It could have caught this person off guard. It could have caught you off guard. Like this person could have been saying bad things about you. Could have been trying to turn people against you. Could have been trying to send bad energy your way. Um, you like, it's like you could have, feel, you could feel verbally attacked for no reason by this person. And she's like, where the fuck is this energy coming? Why am I feeling like some wild ass energy coming from you like you supposed to be my friend or you supposed to be my family member or you supposed to be my colleague we supposed to be working with each other on something it's like this person did not see victory here like the star is someone that is focusing on their wishes that's focused on their dream like 
I feel like they are very transparent. You see how naked this person is. So like it's like you could be a natural beauty. You could be naturally talented. You could be naturally gifted. You could just be a natural person that is just carried by faith in general. And you're just like a lucky person. You know? So um, it could have been someone hating on you and your star power. Like you people could have been. Like you are like the shining star. Like you are the shining star. And I, I feel like this victory in the reverse, you would not have. Because look, look at this. These people needed to get away from you. It's like someone trying to sneak up and cross a barrier, cross the line. You know what I'm saying? Like someone was about to cross you. And it's like. If God just said sometimes in order to receive victory, you got to stand alone. And that's why this person is going to temple path now is because it's like God seen it coming. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And for whatever reason, it's like God seen it coming. And and God made it so that Sagittarius seen you and told you to get the fuck away. You know what I'm saying? And just, you know, straight like that. Clarify the temple path. And... Thank you. Look at the three of swords. So again, this is heartbreak. This is betrayal. This is someone being stabbed in the back. This is someone being manipulated. This is like someone really trying to get you where it hurts. Like, I really trusted you. I really loved you. I really respected you. I never thought you would do that to me. I never thought that you would say certain things like that to me. I never thought that you would betray me and go and... Ooh, they said throw eggs at my backside. Ooh, what the fuck is throwing eggs at my backside? Ooh, throwing eggs at my backside. It's, it's like someone who didn't see it for you. Like, they don't see you as the star. I, I'm trying to tell you, they don't see you as the fucking star. The queen of wands. So, like, you could be very beautiful. You could be very fiery. You could be talented. You could be all of that. Okay, do you hear me? Beautiful, luscious hair. Beautiful, natural nails. Like, your body is banging. Like, you can sing. You can dance. You can cook. You can create. You got, like, you're like the Renaissance woman. You're athletic. Like, you are just the shit. Do you understand what I'm saying? The fucking shit. What is this here? The Eight of Swords. It's like they wanted to kind of, like, hurt you to level you. It's like to level you. You were too high up here. It was like they, they needed to break you and level you. Do you understand? To make you feel like, yeah... You cute, and you may be the star, but you're only a star in our city. Like, don't nobody else know who the fuck you are. So, it's like trying to restrict you so that you wouldn't get too far ahead of yourself. Do you understand? Like, don't nobody know you outside of the city. You know what I'm saying? So, and like, on, only people that know you is in these three little, uh, uh, little areas right here. Other than that, don't nobody know you. You ain't popping like that. You ain't no star for real. You know, so it's like, it's like people trying to get in your head, trying to fuck up your energy, trying to, yeah, it's like, I don't know, it's like this three of swords, I'm taking this shit in a different way. I feel like someone broke your heart in a way that, like, they didn't see victory for you. They didn't. It's like secretly they couldn't stand you. And that could be what broke your heart. It's like this motherfucker stabbed you in your back and in your front. And when you were trying to walk away through eggs at your backside. <clears throat> I want to say it's like you didn't see this shit coming. For real with the seven of wands. Like... You didn't think, again, like I'm saying, like, it's like, you may be heartbroken, like, like, it's like a severed friendship, a severed family member, um, a severed colleague, a severed, um, 
engagement of some sort. You know what I'm saying? With someone that really meant a lot to you. And it's just like, I'm better left alone. Like, I'd rather just walk away. Like, I'm not going to see victory here. I'm not even looking for victory here. I feel like it's someone that was possibly jealous of your beauty, jealous of your talents, jealous of your strength, jealous of your skill, and wanted to, like, you know how they say, um, keep your friends close and your enemies closer or some shit like that. So it's like, yeah, I, I'm, you see, like, I feel like she put the person in jail or, like, in some type of confinement or something. It's like, I don't like you anymore. Away with you. Or something. It's like, what the fuck? It's like, with this wand here, I'm kind of like... Mm, I don't know. And then it's like, green... Rubies, like you see those green, yeah, green rubies. I don't think they're green rubies, but you see the green stone right there. I want to say it has something to do with fucking. Now they're like the green eyed monster or something like that. I want to say someone cast a spell or did something to restrict someone from. Reaching their full potential as a star, really being victorious or something. It was like it might have not necessarily like a spell, but could have just been saying bad things around someone, hating on someone, like low key hating on someone, but still trying to act like that's their friend or that's their family, like they still support them or they still love them. But the whole time it was like a sneak attack going on behind their back, like no, they were really talking big shit about them to anybody that would listen. Like, as soon as they would turn around, they'd be like, man, fuck you. You ain't going to do shit. Or, you know, like, I guess if someone could cast the fucking spell. Like, especially if you was telling your wishes and your desires and your hopes and your dreams to whoever this person was. And they were real close to you. Like, they might have been listening to you and then, like, praying for to, to restrict you away from whatever it was so that you would see victory in that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like whatever you were praying for as the star, this person is behind your back, praying completely against it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and that's why like God was like leading this person not to talk to this person anymore. Not to look the princess of cups. So there was definitely new blessings, like new offers coming in for this person and it's like you gotta walk away from this individual and then you got the full card that just fell right here on the floor so again you had to go by yourself there's new offers coming into you i really do feel like there was someone was jealous of someone's skill talent and abilities and the opportunities that were being offered it's like every time you turn around it was it was like you were you were accepting a new victory there's a, like a lot of new blessings coming into your life because i feel like you walk on faith like whoever this person is sagittarius that is hating on you like you've been walking on faith blessings have been steady flowing to you and through you you're paying attention to the offers, to the adjacent offers and stuff. Like, you're, you know that you're deserving of, of this. This is what you've been wishing for. This is what you've been praying for. But you have to walk away from certain people because sometimes God removes certain people out of your life because he heard certain conversations that you didn't. And certain people, they really do not... That, that That's basically it. I, it's like God wants you to experience this shit alone like not with fake ass friends and fake ass family and just weird i just feel like it was like a lot of weird energy because i'm trying to tell y'all that first that first reading bruh i was just like what does this person feel so bad about like why does this person feel like there's opportunities and blessings right in front of them but they're not walking through the door because they feel 
remorseful and sad and feel bad about some deceitful shit that they did in the past where it's like they felt like they were not deserving of what God was trying to give them because they know that they did something wrong. So it's like, it's an opportunity. That's just like, it's an opportunity that's like a chance in a lifetime, but because of what you did in the past, like you feel like someone is trying to trick you and it's not going to be what it seems to be like. It's going to blow in your face. It's going to be like karma trying to get back to you for what you did. So it's like almost a unwillingness to offer to step into any opportunities because you're scared of karma. You know what I'm saying? So whoever this is that did this to you, Sagittarius, or I don't know if this is y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all know energy is fluid. It could be what someone did to you, what you did to someone. It could be your energy. It could be someone cross-watching and watching you. You never know. You know what I'm saying? But someone didn't just walk away and stop talking to someone and just went the temple path, went alone, went inside, balancing their faith because they didn't see victory in this current opportunity for no reasons. People don't just walk away like that. They did it because they needed an increase. They needed to stand on fertile grounds. It's like something wasn't growing where they were. And it's like they were being told to not to tell whoever it is where they're going because you don't need to follow them. There. You know what I'm saying? Whoever this person is that, whoever this person is that did this deceitful shit with this person, walked away and talking to them. It's because they don't want whoever this person is to follow them to get in the way of their victory because you're a fucking narc. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're a fucking narc. It's like you a snitch. You, uh, you are, like, the enemy. Like, the enemy. The enemy. In disguise. Like, trying to sneak up on, trying to be around the star just long enough. Listen, trying to be around the star just long enough to know what they're doing, where they're going, what they're praying for, so they can do the complete opposite so that this person won't receive victory. So that's why this person tries to play like they still your friend. That's why this person tries to still play like they still like you. Because they just want to see what your blessings are so that they can make sure that you don't get it and that you don't receive that increase. And that's why God told you to stop. Listen, watch what comes out the corner of your mouth. Watch who the fuck y'all be talking to, Sagittarius, because you don't know who the fuck is jealous of the increase in your life and the abundance that is coming to and through you because of your faith. It's like your faith has been carrying you. That's why this fool car came out here. And that's why God told you to separate yourself and trust no one. You just follow your intuition where God is telling you to go. And, 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 and this person did trust God. God told this person to walk away from whoever these people are. Don't even say nothing. Don't even listen. It's Folgers in your cup. It's Folgers in your cup, girl. Like, you good. Look, it's burnt toast to coffee time. You're going to have a fresh cup of Folgers cup in, in the morning. Like, you're going to be so thankful. Continue to walk on faith. I'm going to give you all of the resources and everything you need. You're going to get new opportunities and love, finances, career, everything that your heart ever desired. Like, this could be new home. Because, like, to me, the cups, because I'm looking at Carter Mancy, like, the hearts or the cups, that represents your home. Anything that is your wishes, your heart's desire, your comfortability. Do you understand? So it's like a lot of opportunities of yes. Yes, opportunities are opening up to you. Okay? So this increase, again, it says sharing, reaping the rewards, overflow, expansion, flowering, encouragement, fertile grounds, abundance. Again, watch who you sharing your abundance with. Watch who you telling about the benefits and the rewards that you reap and you never know who be behind your back wishing negativity against your blessing. It says the corners of your mouth, nourishment, health, well-being, providing for others, creating balance, nurturing the body, mind, and spirit. You need to give yourself some time to allow these things to open up and come into your life without people 
like shitting on your opportunities and the things that you're trying to speak into existence. It's like you're trying to speak into existence. Oh shit, you got the tower that just flipped up. Did y'all just see how that just flipped up? <laughs> it's like the tower. So it's like something got destroyed out of nowhere. I really feel I'm trying to tell you it's like you were about to be caught off guard by like some scandal by some bullshit but God just and I don't even feel like you even know why God was telling you to just to walk away and just continue to move forward because you might have been in a standstill with this eight of swords you might have been at a point in your life where you might have been praying on things and you were not receiving victory you like God why am I praying for this I know that I've been balancing my faith listen you I've been doing the temple path you know I've been I've been Trusting and believing in myself. I, I, I'm but keeping myself around friends. Why is all of this stuff not coming to me? Why do I feel restricted? Why do I feel like everything that I've been praying for isn't going anywhere? Because someone was praying to keep you bound and restricted. They wanted you to stay right there. They did not want you to move forward. Do you understand? They did not want you to see that victory. And that's why this blasted oak, these motherfuckers just got blasted out of your motherfucking life. So there were some people that just got thrown away. Just mysteriously, for whatever. Mysteriously, you just walked away. Mysteriously, certain people just start talk, stop talking to you. Mysteriously, some just this, this, and that. Mysteriously, blah, blah, blah. And it mysteriously happened for a reason. So Sagittarius, if for whatever reason, someone just mysteriously stopped talking to you, good. You understand what I'm saying? Good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe God wanted you to remove those people out of your life and you wasn't doing it. And you wasn't realizing why certain things wasn't coming to you. Because you could have been speaking to the fucking enemy the whole time about your wishes. Like you, you, you pouring a whole bunch of positive energy in a whole... Like you could have been pouring a whole bunch of positive energy, a whole bunch of positive thoughts, ideas, and all of that good stuff to someone who did not see it for you. Period. That's why these motherfuckers had to get blasted out of your life. Boom. Like a lightning bolt. Just mysteriously. Just broken ties. Broken structures. Certain shit. Like the tower is certain shit that needed to be torn down and broken down. Regardless if you've seen it. That it needed to happen or not. Like I said. The best phrase that I've ever heard was. Sometimes God removes people from your life because you never know the conversations that were being had that you could not hear. God sees all. Period. People's rejection is protection. Believe it or not. Do you understand? So either you were forced to go the temple path to... Seclude yourself where you can pray and refocus and balance your energy and get yourself, you know, because you, you were talking and being around the wrong people. Either this was forced upon you because people just walked away from your life or you just cut people out of your life for no reason. It's just God telling you to just like, it's their season. It's just like, no. Mm -mm. And what is this? It just this is the ace of arrows in the reverse. So like again, there was some something that was unknown. There was something that was hidden that you you. I don't feel like even if it was explained to you that you would understand why someone would do that, why someone would betray you like that, why someone would be sneaky, why someone would be so hateful. It's like. I don't think that you will really understand the truth of the situation. So it's like, it's some things are best left to be unsaid. Certain things are best to be a secret. Some things are best left to be unknown because I feel like otherwise it will really hurt you. Because remember, we got the four, um, the three of swords up there. It's like it's it's it says the. The arrow, the the ace of arrows, the breath of life. So it's like God did not want you again to continue to communicate with these people anymore. Stop trying to breathe life into the situation. Like I feel like God had to forcefully tear this situation down because you did not see 
someone for who they are. I felt like you kept trying to breathe, like you kept trying to talk to people, kept trying to engage, thinking that these people were your friends, your family, or whatever the fuck, you know. And it's and it's just one person. It wasn't everybody. It's just one person in particular that had to get the fuck going because they were just a negative, like they had a negative attitude. They had a. I don't, I don't know. Give me goddess here on this tower. The Ten of Stones. So the Ten of Stones is about like family. It's about family structure. I, I feel like someone got kicked out of y'all's home. Got kicked out of the family. You don't consider this person family anymore. You don't talk to this person anymore. You completely let go. Like they may not be invited back to your home place. And I definitely feel they've been sent in the opposite direction. And you may not even understand. And you don't even want to figure out like why the fuck this happened to you. It's just like it's best left a secret. But the Ten of Stones, I definitely feel like your stability has increased itself since whoever this was left your life and you stop telling these this person your skills your abilities your wants your desires the things that you were trying to attain on your frequency you know what i'm saying like as soon as you stop telling these people about what it is that you were planning to do and you cut this one particular individual person out of your life things started flowing like i don't know what like, out of the blue, like, and again, the, the, the tower could be something suddenly, you know what I'm saying, like, suddenly, you don't even understand with the ace of arrows, but just suddenly shit just became better, you just skipped and jumped all the way from having a lack of understanding to walking into the, the, the ten of pentacles, do you understand? So I don't understand why this happened, but ever since certain people moved out of my life, like, everything has been so abundant for, for me. In my family, there's been an increase of a luxurious environment. Like, you may have moved into a brand new home with a lot of space, a lot of joy, a lot of opportunity, a lot of freedom, a lot of growth, you know, a lot of... I'm, I, they keep saying skill for some reason. I'm not about to read all these cards. Hold on. We're going into love now, Sagittarius. But again, trust your intuition. Um, if for whatever reason your spirit is trying to... Because again, with that temple path, with those little orbs of light, I definitely feel like you guys have been receiving the signs to stop talking to someone. They're getting in the way of your abundance. I, they keep wanting me to read all of these cards, man. One card, please. One card in love. Thank you. I appreciate you. You got Courtney Love. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm okay. So, um, they're saying be aware of your addictions. It's like your toxic addiction to somebody. I want to say it isn't good. It isn't good. Um, Cause Courtney Love, she was married to Kurt Cobain. Like that's the only thing that I'm seeing. And I know this card. It's talking about being an unvirgin Mary. Um, it kind of like living like a rock star. I get that. I I, I definitely get that. But sometimes I want to say that that lifestyle could be a little bit dangerous. So. I want you to kind of manifest and use this energy in like a positive way. If you feel like you're in a situation where you're in love with someone that you know isn't good for you, but you cannot stand to be alone from this person, you can't stop thinking about this person, um, you feel like where your eyes are closed, you can still feel this person inside of you and you can't stop looking at this person's pictures and smelling this person's cologne or perfume. Like, that's an obsession. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you know that the situation is toxic and it's not good for you. So I want you guys to just pay attention to 
your thoughts and your intentions okay um this says if rock stars are like leaders of a religious cult be the unvirgin mary be more than human be a force of nature be ambitious it does not matter if you don't know where you're going i get it but again like courtney love is crying do you see her face she's crying So it's like, I feel like it's a situation that brings a lot of pleasure and pain there. And it's like, I get the being ambitious, even if you don't know where you're going. There is someone that's just like, rock star attitude, just jumping out there on faith. Like, you know, being a star of an artist, you just following where your heart wants you to go. And I'm not taking it, I'm sorry. But, um, I do feel like... Don't just be driven by your lust and your desires and your temptations. Please make sure that you control yourself because. God damn. Everybody just interrupted me. I said, I'm not answering no more calls. Give me guidance on Courtney Love and Love in regards to Sagittarius for December 2020. You got the Knight of Pentacles. Alright, so this was a long time coming. Long time coming, but I definitely feel like you guys may be getting an offer from an Earth sign, a uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Uh, it may be taking a long time for this person to come forward and offer you something, but... It's like they, this person really thinks about quality here. Quality. So, let's see. Why am I getting such a wild energy off of Courtney Love today? Because normally when I'm doing the collective, I don't be getting a wild energy off of Courtney Love. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that was because, cause, uh, okay. In my head, like... <laughs> Spirit was like, did this person is taking their time to make sure that you stopped all that if, to see if you stopped crying yet? And then, like, the tennis sports just popped out. So, again, I, I feel like I want to say, like, there might be someone that could be having sex to kind of get their mind off of the hurt from a past experience or something. That's why I'm like, why do I feel like someone has been doing something toxic in, in regards to sex or something like that? And it's like they need to pay attention to like codependencies, addictions or something like that. Um, there's definitely someone that is like coming your way and may have been like studying you and paying attention to y'all. You hear me, Sagittarius? They wanted to make sure that you stop, if, see if you stopped crying yet. If it was okay for them to approach you. Because it's like they want to give you something that will last a long time. Like they're really not playing with you. They, you know, they want something that's going to last for the long haul. But I, they want to make sure that you over whatever bullshit that you were mourning and needing to release and let go from the past because like this is someone just lying in the hurt it's like you just been lying there and you could have been like trying to get people to fuck that shit out of you but this is like the six of cups this is the situation where it's emotionally balanced it's emotionally stable like this person is prepared to give you what you were prepared to give to the other person before they did what they did to you so like i really want you guys to stop focusing so much on the past and focus on the present like you guys presently have a good chance of a balanced committed love offer here like the especially if it's coming from an earth sign like the knight of pentacles they take their time to figure out if they want to invest in something they don't waste their time they're not going to waste your time because they're not going to waste their time do you understand what I'm saying? They're going to get what they want out of this situation. Bottom line. And it looks like with the Six of Cups, like they're definitely trying to like offer you something. They may, they may be trying to like 
really date you like this is someone that's really trying to date you that really wants to court you that really wants to offer you something that really wants to show you a good time but they don't want to show you a good time if you if they just feel like you just want to be sitting up over there your mind is somewhere else because you're thinking about what someone else did to you and, and again Sagittarius please if you meeting someone else and they're really trying to take you out and show you a good time please do not like this person is not a cheap person not a cheap person. Like, they're going to take you out and show you a good time. Please don't be sitting up there talking about a whole bunch of past ass shit. About what your ex did to you and why you're single. Because, yeah, this person did this and that and blah, blah, blah. But who gives a fuck? Like, can we talk about what's presently going on? Do not talk about nothing from the past. That's why this person wanted to see if you stopped all this crying shit. It's like your energy come off like... I've been hurt, so I'm just going to party and fuck this shit out of me. Like, I don't know. So, it's like, stop listening to whatever negative thinking that might be coming in your head. Uh, I feel like you just, you need to pay attention to the present state of what's going on and what's being offered. Um, oh. What the fuck is going on, man? Anyway, so, um, I feel like whatever this thing is in the past is offering you distraction at the present moment where you're not being focused on what is currently being offered to you. Like, this person, this person is offering you a lot of cups. This person is doing a balance and act like trying to pull off performance acts and playing it's like this person is trying to pull off a performance it's like this person be performing for you be trying to like show you their trade like their tradesmanship their skills or something like they could be bringing you like a lot of gifts and little small tokens of their affection from like when they're at work or whenever they're out doing something or whatever so it's like stop allowing Whatever this hurt and this past experience is to cause a active distraction and manipulate your mind because I feel like it's you're too busy and you're too comfortable with laying in the hurt. It's like I feel like even with all of the gifts and everything, it's like you constantly are being pegged with thoughts of the past where you're not even feeling like I don't even know if I want this situation. I really do feel like you want to stop thinking about the past so that you can pay attention and really take the offering of what is being presently offered to you. But it's like, these are heavy. These are sharp ass swords too. Can y'all look at these swords? I would not want to be stabbed by one of these swords. It's like. This is like negative self-talk. Like, you be on some real wild-ass shit, though. On some real wild-ass shit. So, and look at the way that these swords are positioned. The three of swords. You see, those are the longest, sharpest swords where you can literally see the tip. Like, that's what's been seeking into you. This three of swords shit. Whatever this, 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 this. Someone stabbing someone in the back and sabotaging the relationship, friendship, whatever the fuck. That's what's been hurting you, and you cannot stop thinking about that shit. The two of swords right here, you need to make a decision. If you're going to continue to stay in that and let that plague you for the life of you, you're going to let that go. That's why the four of swords is down there. You need to go within yourself and decide what the fuck it is that you really want. Are, are you going to try to control yourself and your thoughts and your mind? What do you want to do? Because, like, the four of swords is like someone needing mental health services like needing to talk to a counselor or something like because you're it's taking too long for i feel like someone is holding the pain it's like you're this is someone that could be resisting what's being presently offered to them in the future because it's like you won't let go and you don't want to let go and it's like you're harming yourself. I feel like this is someone harming themselves, and you need to stop listening to whatever those negative thoughts are those worries and the you know those anxieties are inside because I feel like you got something 
good. You have something, someone offering you some good shit, like pulling off tricks and doing stunts and rolling blunts for you and shit. And uh, all only thing you doing is steadily suffering from some old ass shit. It's like you'll. It's like taking the, the, the knives out and re-stabbing yourself over and over every fucking day. Keep worrying and thinking about the situation. You gotta let it go. That's why I'm getting pleasure and pain. That's why I'm getting like you seduct. It's like a seductress. It's like you're seducing people into your pain. Because you're not ready to let things go. Like, And you have people offering shit to you. But you're just laying down in the suffering and whoever you allow to come into your life is going to suffer with you with this Courtney love here because I typically I don't get that energy off of her but I'm getting that shit today and I, look at the cards you know what I'm saying look the seduction like I told you seductress it says attraction flirting dating hooking up temptation third party interference yes it's a third party interference the past I feel like you need to get over the idea of y'all kissing and make up like you need to let that go you need to let that go. Do do. You hear me? You hear the confirmation? Do do. Get over that because this kiss did come out in the reverse. Okay? So focus on what is currently being offered to you. How the hell can you even remotely enjoy or pay attention to the new people in your life trying to kiss your ass and pull tricks and stunts and roll blunts and do all of that stuff, you know, for you? If you are too busy focusing on something from the past, the Kisha says unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. So there is definitely someone on your line that's falling in love with you, but are you falling in love with it? The Phoenix is in the reverse and then the golden mirror. So again, this is like someone, like an unwillingness to transform, but you need to because it's trying to tell you the golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. You need to transform and get rid of this old energy because you are love bombing other people because you're only focusing on your shit. Yo shit and yo shit is getting in the way of the offers of what people are, you know, they're, they're wasting their time offering to you. If only thing you could pay attention to is yo shit. Some shit that's not even existing anymore. It's like you're just like, again, saboteur behavior. Like, I, I see why this person wanted to see if you would stop crying yet over that old situation. Like, if you're not over it, stop having sex with other people stop because until you over this shit in the past you're just you're 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 offering you're you're doing this you're transferring this energy to them it's like you're providing a headache a headache to them because these are people trying to move forward and offer you something solid something secure something that's worth waiting for but it's like you know you seduce them, but all at the same time, only thinking about what you want and not wanting to transform past this other shit. So it's like, mm -mm. again, like that's why I swear I shouldn't have deleted that other video. It's like you're not paying attention to those open doors I told you it's like you're standing right there look this 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 person is giving you kisses all of this stuff like that offering you shit you know really really down for you but you sitting there worrying yourself to death the golden mirror seductress energy Courtney love she's crying Using sex and drugs and all of that shit like that to get over the hurt and the pain. Because what are we talking about? We're talking about toxic addiction type of shit. Not letting go of the pain. Not letting go of the hurt of, of, of some old shit. Using drugs, sex, and alcohol to drown out the pain. But it don't matter how high you get, how drunk you get, how many nuts you bust. When you by yourself, you st you're still here. You're still here. 
And that's why this energy is like this. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? Like you, you, you're, you're not taking advantages of the opportunities in front of you because it's like I haven't transformed with this phoenix. Listen, new phase, rekindle, renew, transform, growth, change mind. You can still be trying to think about rekindling something instead of moving on to the new. Don't allow, don't cheat on your present with your past. And again, the other reading was someone that had open opportunities and wasn't sure if those doors was for them because of some shit that ever happened to them in the past or some shit that they did in the past to someone else. So give me the last part and words for Sagittarius and love. Thank you. What's the last advice? Let's have your turn. Thank you. Let's see what you The six of swords. Like you have to make the decision to mentally move on. Pack whatever you need in the vote, in the boat, and just and just go on. Like you have to mentally decide if if enough is enough. If you're tired of continuing to live in the past. Chase your future and what God has for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, allow yourself to be victorious and to reach for the stars. Spend some time to yourself. You know, walk out on faith like the fool. Love yourself. Don't let nobody love bomb you, you know? Because sometimes there could be an enemy that's a lot closer to you than what you think. And you could be trying to get away because you love yourself and you see yourself as the star that you are. But if, you know, other people will try to reclaim your victory and, 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 and claim it for themselves if you let them. Do you understand what I'm saying? If it's something that's toxic and it's something that's not good for you and someone has done something overkill overdrive i mean they've they've done the same thing over and over and over and over again where you have been a consistent headache you're in consistent stress this is someone in denial honestly about the effect that this situation has mentally you know like this is like mental trauma and again, if you need to go get some counseling, like I said, that four, that it may come down to the bottom of it if you need to go get some counseling to really release this shit and let it go. And if that's what you need to do, go and do it. Other than that, like, it don't matter how many people are offering shit to you. Yeah, you might be having sex with a few people. But you're transferring that negative energy to everyone that you lay down with. And I don't think that they know when people meet you. Number one that love bombing. Only. This this the only thing that you focusing on the inside. It ain't them. And you driving yourself crazy. And you going to drive them crazy right along with you. Until you decide to let that go. So you need to decide to let that go. Or you going to keep missing these offers. And the doors are going to close in front of you. And you want to be standing there thinking about, damn, that whole time those doors was for me. And I was standing here twiddling my fingers the whole time, feeling sorry for myself because I felt like I wasn't worthy about some shit that happened in the past. And now that these doors won't even open, I don't even know when these doors are going to open again. You're going to be so fucking mad at yourself. Do not be standing there. Looking stuck and looking stupid. Because then guess what? You're going to be having an extra sword. An extra sword to add on to this list. The one that you cause for yourself. And I don't think you want that. So it's time to get going. You hear me Sagittarius? It's time to walk away from that shit. Mentally let that go so you can receive what you need to receive. It's time to take a vacation. It's time to think about new experiences on a different path with different people. Okay? So, Sagittarius, this has been your reading. I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. I love y'all. Thank y'all for loving yourself. Peace.